Do you hear that? That is the sound of the narrow streets of Punjab, India. Constant honking, pure chaos. But you see those yellow marigolds behind me? Look at them. They're sitting right here in the middle of the noise, perfectly still, doing exactly what they were designed to do, bloom. Most people think they need silence to think. They wait for the world to shut up before they can create. But if I waited for silence in this environment, I would have never become an innovator. I didn't learn to silence the world. I learned how to filter it. There is a mechanism in your brain called the reticular activating system, the RAS. It is the bouncer of your brain. It decides what is signal, what is important, and what is noise, what is irrelevant. When I build AI algorithms for complex data sets, the first thing we design is the noise filter. If AI listens to everything, it learns nothing. Your brain is the same. If you're exhausted, not because you're doing too much work, it's because your RAS is broken. You're processing the honking with the same weight as the flower. You don't need noise cancelling headphones. You need to retrain your RAS. Here is the signal tuning exercise I use. Number one, acknowledge the noise. Don't fight the traffic sound. Let it be there. Label it background. Number two, lock the signal. Find one small detail like the texture of this flower or the feeling of your feet on the floor. Number three, gating. Imagine a volume knob. Visually, see yourself tuning down the traffic noise and the flower up. Neuroscience shows that attention actually amplifies the neural firing rate of what you look at. You literally turn up the volume with your eyes. Creativity is not the absence of chaos. It is the ability to find the signal within the chaos. I'm building something called AI Merge to act as a digital RAS, an AI that helps you filter your digital life. So you can see only the signal. But right now, look at that flower. Ignore the horn. If you want my guide on cognitive filtering, comment signal below.